Now, if we take it to modern times, he was fighting against idolatry, calling the people to worship the Creator alone, the same thing Noah did, the same thing Idris did, the same thing the first man, man Adam did. And if we look at modern times today, these were icons, these were statues. You see some of that present today, don't you, in a different form? You see it in the exact same form and other variants of it. The mm -hmm. exact same form I have seen in some countries I've visited. Yeah. People have idols or statues. I recall one, he had a statue on the dashboard of his car. He was a driver. And I got in, slammed the door, and when I did, that idol wiggled like that. And I said, what is this? He said, that's my God. I said, you're what? He said, that's my God for traveling. He said, put your seatbelt on. And as I was putting my seatbelt on, I said, well, why don't you put a seatbelt on your God there? <laughs> And he started laughing. And I said, I'm not joking. I said, Look, you know, things wiggling there. You're liable to hit a bump up here and it falls down. You know, and uh, he said, no, it won't watch. And he grabbed it and he picked it up and you could hear, <coughs> he had Velcro on it. Uh -huh. I said, a God with a Velcro. And then <laughs> he, <laughs> he put it back and what he did, I said, well, what would you do if it did fall down and broke? He said, I'll go buy another one. Mm -hmm. So there's, for some people, they're not catching that what you're saying. You're worshiping. You're giving prayers and thanksgiving and requests to a piece of wood or a piece of stone for crying out loud. Why do you